Hi, I'm Peter Birch, and today, guys, I'm going to talk about how to make money out of breeding reptiles in Australia. That's right, making the money. If you're new to my channel, guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification button to continue to join the venture. For everyone else, get ready, guys. Welcome to Critter Cam. Well, it's hard to believe this is where all the craziness in the Australian hobby started with the albino Darwin carpet. That's right, the albino Darwin carpet. Now, these majestic, beautiful creatures absolutely drop dead, you're gorgeous, just like this guy right here. I mean, absolute stunning, stunning animals. Well, the fact of the matter is uh, these guys, when they were uh, made available to the market, they were cashing in at about $15,000 a piece. That's right, $15,000 Australian. Now, um, the crazy thing is, hats, hats were about $7,500 a pair. That's right, $7,500 to $8,000 a pair in the early days when they were first made available to the market. Now, that's absolute crazy. So, um, you can see they've come such a long way because now the albino carpets, basically at any expo or any breeders, you can pick them up for about $350 a piece. Now, that's pretty tragic, I really think. Now, you know, you keep going on and on about dollars and cents and how people are gonna make money and cash it in and make so many dollars. If you're smart and you're cluey, you might be able to do that. Now, on the flip side, guys, um, a lot of other cool animals like Woma pythons. Let's see, the Woma pythons, these guys here, when they were first made available to the market, that's right, Woma pythons, absolute gorgeous animals in their own right when they were made available to the market they were cashing in at about six and a half thousand dollars a piece that's right six and a half thousand dollars a piece now i remember when i got my first pair i was very fortunate enough to get a pair from peter kraus and um, they were coming in at about two and a half thousand dollars a piece and absolute gorgeous animals and i was just so lucky to get them at the time now black-headed pythons also were around about four and a half thousand dollars a piece four and a half thousand dollars now they've dropped to about $450 to $500 and if you get the Xanthic ones probably about $600 or maybe $1200 I think depending on the quality obviously. Um, the Womers, the Womers have drastically dropped and I mean geez, I, I breed them and I'm lucky to get $250 to $350 a piece for them. So it's pretty tragic isn't it when it gets around to it. You know you're a big time breeder, you spend all your money and you make all these investments hoping to cash in and sometimes it can take two to three years, if not longer, before you see your investment pay off. Now, another contentious issue, are these bad boys here, right? The albino olive pythons, absolute gorgeous animals. Now, this project was made available back in the early days and it was uh, cashed in at about $150,000. That was for the original albino and some heads. Unfortunately, it never sold. Uh, but the project did move forward and it made its way to the old snake ranch run by John Weigel and Gavin Bedford and it went off like a bang. Now those initial albinos that were made available were cashing in around about the $15,000 mark again and I mean crazy numbers but you've got to remember these guys have been around now for about 15 to 20 years so a lot of work's been done with them and produced some really good quality animals. <sighs> I just need to breathe and <laughs> and now I mean you're lucky enough to pick them up for about three and a half to four thousand dollars depending on males and females of course and it just blows your mind you know when you're talking these numbers and how quickly the prices have come down now here's another key example guys everyone knows and loves my big rough scale python cage well rough scale pythons here we go so when these guys were first made available to the Australian hobbyists they were $25,000 a pair. That's right, $25,000 a pair. Now, if that's not scary enough, you can imagine being the first guys that jumped on the boat, invested the money in these, and then the following year, they dropped to $16,000 a pair. Imagine how upset you'd be. So you've already bought a pair of hatchlings, only raised them halfway, and you still haven't even got to the end gold, and they're already dropping price. Anyway, by about the third year, they're about twelve and a half thousand dollars, and they just kept coming down nine thousand, six thousand, four and a half thousand, two and a half thousand, bum 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 bum, and they're now sitting around about two hundred and fifty dollars. They're a category two animal in New South Wales, which means you're going to have a specialist license or be able to keep animals for longer than two years and proven experience, so then you can move up to these beautiful, 
but I reckon they're just so under underrated. They're my favourite animals, and that's the reason why they got this big cage all to themselves. That's right. They absolutely love it. Now, there's been so many other investment animals that people have basically just thrown money into the wind, hoping to get their investments back. And I mean, there's so many, so many. Uh, here's another one. We can't grab him because he's actually mating right now, which is which is sort of good, but it's also a little bit weird because we're trying to film here. Um, with these bad boys right here. These are the marbled children's, that's right. The marbled children's, and once again, depending on colors and quality of the patterns and coloration, just like these two. You know, these guys are sitting around about the five to $600 mark. When they first became available to the market, four and a half thousand dollars each chick ching that's right four and a half thousand dollars each that's right boom drop that amount of money and you got to try and make that money back just blows your mind right blows your mind now um another another key investment with these ones here these t plus stimmies these beautiful orange and yellow type the colin ray line absolute gorgeous animals now once again when these guys hit the market Bam, you know, we're talking about three grand a piece. Three grand a piece. Now they're about 500 bucks. And I mean, they're worth every single cent in my eyes. Every single cent, guys. Absolute gorgeous animals. Absolutely beautiful animals. Now here's another one. Another one that's gonna make you cry. Is the Dave Evans line, T plus Stimmy. Another beautiful creature. Look at those dark eyes. Look at that coloration. Absolute gorgeous, right? Well, these guys hit the market, bam, $4,000. Now, same again, guys, about five to 600 bucks a piece. And um, I think you can get them for around about, yeah, five to $800, depending on the quality. Once again, you know, we keep talking about quality of the animals, but it always comes back to the quality of the animal that you're making your investment with to see what the production is. Um, now, um, when these guys hit the market and there was very limited numbers of them, because there was a, a few issues with them. Uh, a couple of people refused to believe there was issues, but I mean, here we are breeding these guys since 2012 now, was the Albino Max, the Albino Spotted Pythons. Absolute gorgeous animals. Now these guys hit the market at about six and a half to eight thousand dollars. Absolute gorgeous animals. Now the first lot of hets that were made available back in 2010 before a captive animal was produced from the line. That's right, a captive animal. So one one albino turned up sporadically um, it was purchased along with all the hets which turned out not to be the true hets so unfortunately that put the project back a little bit um, then they were out well they'll cross back to the original animals and produce the first albinos but in the meantime the first true hats were released to the market without a visual animal being produced from the original line very tricky but um seven and a half eight thousand dollar investment bam for some hats in other words hats are just non-visual animals in other words just absolute normal looking animals that don't look anything different to a normal animal and in fact here's one of my original hats that i purchased so this is a $4,000 animal. If I wanted to sell it tomorrow, guys, that's right, I'd probably milk it out for about $1,500 if I'm very lucky. Now the Albino Max, I think are absolute drop dead gorgeous. Absolutely my favorites. And um, why would I make such crazy, crazy claims? Because I love them a lot. I've spent a bit of time out crossing them, working on them, and um, yeah, producing some nice babies right now. And <laughs> Who knows where that's going to go, but I tell you what, if you guys are in it for the money, you're going to spend a lot of money before you even get there, because not only are you going to buy the animals, you've got to buy all the enclosures, all the setups, get everything right, spend all that time and effort, you've got to feed them all year round, you've got to put the power in them all year round, and then, and then, if you're really lucky, at that right time of the year, you put them together, they're going to be mating, Whoops, where are we going? That's right, they're gonna mate. Let's check that out. If you're very lucky, you're gonna get this mating action right here. I don't like to disturb them too much, but um, right there. Some mating action. If you're very lucky, you're gonna get some mating. And if the mating is quite successful, 
you're going to see some eggs. That's right, eggs. And next is the crazy idea whether you're going to do maternal incubation, in other words, let the mother do the, all the work, incubate the eggs by herself, do all the work, and then she can hatch the babies and you can collect the babies up. And in my experience, those babies are bigger, stronger, more vigorous animals than incubated animals, but it all depends on the incubation temperatures. Now, by watching these guys maternally incubate over the last five years, I've learned so much, and I'm gonna take that back to the incubator with a few animals this year and try to see if I can bring or mimic those successes in the incubator and produce some babies. So not only gotta make the investment, put the time and effort in, feed them, house them, do all the hard yards, guys. And then, if you're really lucky at the end of the day, you're gonna get some babies, that's right, some babies. And hopefully those babies are not only just gonna turn up, but also they're going to eat really well for you and grow to be big, beautiful, snakes like their parents well i hope you guys enjoyed today's show make sure you give me a like hit me up on facebook in instagram twitter not so much guys but that's okay guys thanks so much for watching critter cam till next time see ya